Okay, second video. You've signed up for my lab, you've registered for the course, and you're ready to get started. Let's take a look at how that works. Share my screen, go back here, and oh, over here. And I need to view as student, so I'm back being Gilbert, my dog. And we're going to go to modules. And in week one, the first one that you're going to be doing is the Windows 10 simulation training. So for every chapter of simulations, there's a training and an exam. The trainings are where you learn how to do things. The exams are where you show what you've learned. So the trainings are going to have lots of guidance and helpful stuff, and the exams won't. But you have unlimited attempts on the trainings, and you have three tries at the exams. So that should be enough to get you through you know, what it is that you need to do. Now, the trainings are just a very small portion of your grade, but they are a little bit. Most of your grade based on these simulations is the exams. So use those trainings as much as you need to get the stuff done in the exams. You can save and go back and forth and whatever it is you need to do. But let's take a look at the training. So here we go, clicking on the training. And this is going to take me to here to open Pearson. Give it a second to think about that. Please stand by. All right. So we want to, well, first off, we can look and see. Here's the list of questions and tasks and stuff that is going to be accomplished in this training. And you can go directly to a particular one. So if you've done the training and you're now working on the exam, you get to a point in the exam where you're like, oh, crap, I can't remember how to do that. You can save the exam, come back to the training, go directly to that thing in the training and look at just that. I mean, makes sense, right? But we want to look at the whole thing right off the bat. So let's launch. And this will open up the entire window here. All right. So what you're going to see is a simulation of the Windows desktop. And you're going to see, and this will depend on the configuration of your screen, whether you see the, uh, the working stuff on the right or across the bottom. Uh, it just depends on what sort of computer you're using and what, um, what's the word I'm looking for, w what your display settings are as, as far as whether you see it on the right or on the bottom. Um, almost never see it on the left, I don't think. I suppose it would be possible to get it put there if you really wanted, but you know why. All right, our first instruction says, sign into Windows using the Microsoft account for my IT lab user, my IT, et cetera. Uh, developer note, the start state should be the sign-in screen. The only user available should be my IT lab user, but not sure what that's doing there. At any rate, let's look at the navigation just below the instructions there. Uh, we can see that this is task one of 26. You have five attempts remaining to get this task done, but remember you can do these over and over again. So, uh, you know, you should be able to, uh, you know, we'll get it. Um, you can also click on that button that says view all, which takes us back to that list we were looking at that shows all of the different tasks. And you can reset if you need to. And we also have the learning aids which will allow us to watch a video or practice. You also have an on-screen keyboard. So if you need a virtual keyboard to pop up, then there it is. Although if you're using a Windows machine, which you should be, um, your keyboard should be just fine. At any rate, so let's try this out. It says use the, account, my love user and password is my IT lab one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And hit the button. Welcome. All right. Question complete. 
And I'm on to the next one. So we can see this one is two of 26. Display the home page of the settings window. Change the desktop background to the picture butterfly. Okay. Um, say already, I'm like, huh? <laughs> okay. Time to launch some learning aids. Watch a video. There's my video. Hit the play button. On the taskbar in the notifications area, click the action center icon and then click all settings. In the settings window, click personalization. Below choose your picture, click browse. In the open dialog box, click butterfly.jpg. Click choose picture. In the settings window, in the left pane, click lock screen. Below choose your picture, click browse. In the open dialog box, click bahamas.jpg. Click choose picture. In the settings window, click the close button. Okay. So it's just shown us exactly what we need to do. I'll close that. So now I know what to do. I can go to my simulation. I gotta move that over so that I can see what the heck I'm doing here. All right, there's my action center and I want all settings and personalization, and I'm gonna browse for butterfly, there it is. Choose picture, and then lock. Now notice, as I'm finishing these tasks, the one that I just finished goes to dim, and the one that I'm currently working on becomes the bold type in my instructions window there, right here. So, it's helping you out to let you know exactly what it is you should be looking at in the instructions here. Okay, so lock screen. And once again, I'm gonna browse, choose Bahamas, choose picture, and you should be done. Close the settings window, question complete. We move on to the next thing. Now, there's quite a few tasks here. Maybe um, an emergency has come up or, uh, you know, you just need to go and use the bathroom or whatever. You know, you're not going to finish it right now. So you can save and pick it up later. Click OK to save your results. OK. Ah. And then the next time you launch this, it will pick up where you left off and you can continue on. Okay. So that's the training. Let's go back to modules in week one and look at the difference between that and the simulation exam or the same thing, Windows 10. They're going to be very similar, but not identical. Open Pearson. Am I ready to start? Notice the note, you can save this quiz to work on later. When you return to this quiz, you will not be able to access questions you already worked on. Be sure to complete the question before moving to the next question or clicking resume later. So make sure you did the trainings. Okay, launch. But remember, you do have three attempts. Okay. And again, sign into Windows. Okay. This time, notice no learning aids. You just got to do it. Student, click on that view button so I can see what I put in there. Student, one, two, three, four. Okay, question complete. Okay, basically the same question except this time we want a shark picture and a sunset picture. Okay, action center, settings, personalization, background, browse, 
shark, lock screen, browse, sunset. Close the settings window. Ooh, that is a shark, isn't it? Okay, again, you can save. You sure you want to save this assignment for later? Yes, I can save it, come back to it when I'm ready to finish it. So you don't have to get it all done in one sitting. Um, you know, because let's face it, we all have lives. Sometimes we have a few minutes to work on something. Sometimes we have an extended period of time to work on it. But the biggest difference here is that in the trainings, you've got all those learning aids to help you. In the exams, you don't. You know, we want you to demonstrate that you actually learned how to do the thing. So that's pretty much it. They all work very similarly. Uh, we just begin with Windows because that's the logical place to begin. So I'm going to stop sharing there. And that concludes this video. I will see you in the next demo. Bye-bye.